So Rise of Nation just had a major new game update and as you can see there is a lot to cover. So let's get right into it. So starting off with the most important part of the update. The colors of many countries change. For example the France and US are now blue and Russia is now green as well as many other countries which change colors. Next is the factory change where if you don't have enough resources to support the production of two factories, one of them will be cancelled and the other factory will continue producing. Rather than both factories getting cancelled, as you can see one of my factories are online while the other one just got cancelled. Another major change is you only need ne necessary cities to form instead of the whole country. So China only needs the necessary cities which is now a part of Russia to form Qing Dynasty and Germany only needs some cities in Poland for the German Empire. There is also a stability update with the new formables but so far I haven't been able to find a country that doesn't give more than more or less than 10 stability when forming so it's just a system for now. Now for the bulk of the update which are the many releasables. Starting off in North America, USA has an extra formable called Aslan while Canada now has Alberta and Saskatchewan. Next up is South America where Brazil and Argentina have two more releasables with Argentina having a co-releasable with Chile. Many European countries got new releasables, but I'll just give you the main ones. Spain got 7 new releasables, France got 6 with the big one being Occitania, Belgium got 2 new releasables, Germany now has Saxony and Frisia, Ukraine got 5 releasables, and Italy got the biggest nerf with 14 new releasables. And fans of Romania now have Transylvania as a playable region. Now onto the new playable countries. I won't be naming all of them, but most of these countries are just micro nations located primarily in Europe and the Caribbean. There are also many new formables added to the game, with my personal favorite being Kingdom of Two Sicilies. But most importantly, how is this update going to affect the meta of the game? Well, with all these nerfs to these different European countries, players will need to be more cautious about getting low stability, as now there is more risk that a province will declare independence, which is bad during a war. Most importantly, the factory buffs are going to help new players and old players manage their resources much easier which is quite important for the early game. Anyways guys, that's all for this update, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content and update breakdowns. And I'll see you in the next video.